Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I have got another King Cole box opening. Now this is the new yarns for the end of July and all beginning of August. Now you can go on to King Cole's website and you can see all the new yarns and patterns that they're bringing out. Now to buy King Cole yarn, go on either Either go to your local stockist or you can go online and type in Kinko Yarns, the type of yarn you want, and you'll find a whole list of stockists or websites and people, shops everywhere that do Kinko Yarn. So I got this box and I'm going to open it up and see what the new yarn is. So the last one was that thick toasty yarn and I'm still working on a pattern for that. So we're going to open this and see what the new yarn is. And it's a great insight. It's a great thing to actually get these boxes to show you all the new up and coming yarns. And it gives me a chance to try it all out. So we'll have a little look and see what's in the box this time. Oh, chocolate. So I'm going to open these up. So what have we got? Hedgerow Chunky. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different ones. Discover the enchanting beauty of the English countryside with Hedgerow Chunky, a new variegated acrylic yarn and a generous 200 gram balls. Each skin captures the essence of rustic hedgerows, blending vibrant hues of wildflowers, verdant greens and earthy browns. Perfect for cosy blankets, stylish sweaters and charming accessories. Hedgerow Chunky offers a soft, chunky texture that works up quickly and effort effortlessly. <laughs> <laughs> that was an effort seeing that word. Let your creativity flourish and bring timeless charm of nature's palette into your handcrafted projects with this delightful yarn. So embrace the countryside splendor with every stitch of hedgerow chunky. Wow, amazing. Oh, this is oh chocolate. Dun, num, num. <laughs> And I've got my Kinko bag. My daughter does car boot sales and I've started giving her some of these. And <laughs> she's giving them away to the people in the car boot. So I'm going to pop that aside there. What I'll do is I'll pop that aside. And I've got a pen. Now it says Threads of Joy. Wow, I'm going to pop that there. I'll put the box off to the side. So it's saying that there's eight different ones in this. So let's get this one out first. Oh, there is a little badge. Love knitting. This is such a glorious pink, this. So let's see what this is. There's four in this bag. Oh my goodness. Oh. I am definitely, definitely going to get more of this. Definitely. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think there is eight, so there is one of each. Oh, my, I'm definitely, that is beautiful. I am so going to get more of this. This one is called Wild Berry. The number is, the shade number is 5845. Look at that. 200 grams, 100% acrylic. It's telling to you use a US 10 hook or needle and a 6 millimeter. If you do your hooks and that in millimeters, well, they do in the UK. So it's a 6 millimeter in the UK. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it smells amazing. Got all those, I love the label as well. This is amazing. So this one is Wild Berry. All these different colours of berries that you would get in the wild. Wow. 
I love that one. Pop that there. Oops, just knocked my camera around. Look at this one. This one is Blackthorn. And the number is 5844. This is soft. This is soft. And it's a bigger ball. 200 grams in that. That is beautiful. Those two go to, they all go together. That is the amazing thing that I love about that one. So that one's Blackthorn. Let me get, oh, more badges. Macrame and crochet. I'm going to give them to my daughter as well. She can give them away for free. So this one, look at this one. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at those colours. Away in there, and it's a beautiful variegated one with the color change. Usually, it'll be yellow, then it'll go to green, then it'll go straight to blue, and straight to something else. But I love the variegated, so when it crochets and knits up, you get that really nice mix. Looks like Neapolitan chocolate. This one is called Dewdrop. What a beautiful name, as well. The number for this is 5846. That one is Dew Drop. Look at that. These are amazing. I love these. I really love that one. That one is the Wild Berry. These are going to be great for doing things for autumn and winter. This one is Crocus. This one is Crocus. But do you know, it's very, this one looks like a little mixture of these three. And it really matches in with that one as well. You really could do so many rows of that, so many rows of that, and then back to that. This one is Crocus. Now, before everyone says that it's got 332 yards, that's 304 metres. And it's a 200 gram ball. In the UK, normally we go by the weight of the ball. So 200 grams. So if a blanket tells you that you need 400 grams, you would get two of these to make 400. And I know that in the USA, a lot of it goes by the meterage in the yards. And now that is crocus. So we have... Wild Berry, oh my favourite so far, Crocus, I love this one, great for, this is going to be great for little hoodies and hats, I have started doing some baby things and I think I just might make some hoodies and do a video of a hoodie, I'm going to use this, I know this is a winter one, well a sort of thicker one for autumn and winter but the patterns that I'm going to be putting up soon you can use double knitting for it as well and that one to remind you is blackthorn and this one is a dewdrop look at that absolutely beautiful I'm going to pop that just there and get the other bag out now that's oops that's my box empty I'll just leave the box sitting there now let's have a look at this one. Oh, it's Christmas scent. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that one. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Oh my goodness. If you're looking for something to give to someone for their birthday or Christmas, well, think no further than this. I think anyone is going to love this absolutely beautiful look at this one my gosh i thought that one was beautiful but this one is amazing look at this all the colors that i like now this hedgerow chunky this one is oak wood it says oak wood i would have expected it to be brownier than that it shows you the picture in here and there is one that's sort of sort of brown it must be that one there oh that one's got all the browns in that look at that make a beautiful winter one two three four five six seven eight i'm just looking at the names of them 
you've got dewdrop, crocus, wild berry, blackthorn, holly berry, because they come out in Christmas, oakwood, thicket, and conquer. Conkers. We used to play conkers. Did anybody else play conkers? Where it's a horse chestnut. The big nut out of the horse chestnut. So it's big green spiky things in the autumn. And then the burst open, you've got those little brown chestnuts in. And you drill a hole right through it and put some string through it. So you've got like a conker on the string. And you wind it up and you go smack, smack. <laughs> with the person that you're playing it with. And whoever breaks the, co the other ones conquer first as the winner. But by gosh, it used to smack you in the hands. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this one is Oakwood. The number for this is 5843. Beautiful. 332 yards, 304 meters and 200 grams. 100% premium acrylic and it is soft. And once again, it's a six crochet hook, six millimeter crochet hook or needle and that's a US 10. Well, you can use a bigger hook and get a more open pattern on this. Use a thinner hook, a smaller hook rather, or a smaller set of needles, and you'll get a tighter, heavier sort of work with your crochet. I love the labels. It's the first time I've actually said that I love the labels as well. It's so pretty. So Oakwood for that one. But even this, look. Look at these two together as well. They match together. Oh, these are beautiful. We've got hedgerow, chunky, holly berry. This one is a holly berry. It's soft. I wish you could feel how soft this is. And I wish you could feel how, how feel, how, how smelly it is. Oh, it smells really nice. I love the smell of nice new yarn. So that one is holly berry. This one is beautiful, isn't it? That's, you can imagine some nice little hoodie tops made with this. This one is Thicket. Thicket. And it is 5841. Do you know what I, want? I think? Motley doesn't wear doggy coats. If he did, I would choose this <laughs> to make him a doggy coat. Look at that. It's beautiful. My sister Sandra's going to love this. This is amazing, this one. I really like this one is Conquer. I think I might get some more of this Conquer and some more. Um, do you know, I might even just get a ball extra each of each one. This one is Wild Berry. I really like that one. I like that as well. But this one is called Conquer. The shade number is 5840. And that one is Conquer. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's so pretty. I'm going to look at some. I do have some King Cole baby pattern. It's beautiful. So that's what we have for the end of July, beginning of August, to take us into the autumn. Beautiful. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. I'm going to bring that down. Those labels are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So have a look at this. Go on their website. Just go into Google and put King Cole Hedgerow Chunky. See who's selling it. See what prices they are. Some sellers will do it a little bit cheaper than others. It's it's a little, you've just got to shop around. You've got to shop around. And King Cole, you can get all the details on King Cole, but they don't actually sell it on their website. They sell it to businesses and they sell it on. Like they'll do all your little wool shops and the people on eBay and Amazon and all those places, you can get it. And anyway, you'll get this in a lot of the shops. You'll get it across the shops in the USA as well. You should get it in Michaels and places like that that actually do yarns. You should be able to pick it up really, really easy.
So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Help me get up to 300,000 subscribers. It's kind of dragging its feet a little bit as it gets up to those special numbers. I don't get anything for it. It just helps my channel to be seen more. And it pushes it up there a little bit, especially if you leave a comment and you give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And also, if you want to do a little buy me a cup of coffee, which helps with the channel, helps me to get some more yarn as well. I'm definitely going to get some more of these. They're beautiful, especially to do some things over the winter. There is a coffee link. And you click on the link underneath the video and it'll take you there. And you can donate just a little bit if you want help. It does say to buy a cup of coffee, but that gets put in. I put it in a little kitty jar. I just save it up and then I can get some more yarn and do some more videos for everyone. So thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Help me get up to that 300,000. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.